Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for this week's reading. I will be working with the Ascended Masters Oracle by Doreen Virtue. Okay, so let's see what messages we have for this week. Okay, we have quite a few cards here. I'm just going to reshuffle. So one of them... So the first card we have is teacher and uh, I'm not sure how this is pronounced but I'm just gonna read it it's I think it's Maha Chohan Ragossi uh, I apologize if my pronunciation is incorrect um, and I'm not very familiar with this master however I'll just tune in to see what messages I'm receiving with this card uh, what I'm picking up firstly is, you know, the purple cloak that he's wearing and um, to me the color purple is very spiritual and with this card I feel that you are a teacher and there are many gifts that that you can bring through. Look at the third eye, The you know, there's a crystal, yeah, there's a crystal a purple crystal which is you know which is illuminated in the third eye area this is like the gifts that you have within you and with this card I also feel like you are tapping into those gifts you are now awakening maybe even remembering those gifts and there are things that you need to bring forward and I believe that everyone each one of us we have a soul purpose a soul mission and it's up to us to remember what our soul purpose is and to bring it forward. And this card is saying that you are ready, you are a teacher and this master, uh, you can call on any master to help you, not, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, once again, I couldn't properly read the name if you can, you know, just read it through and kind of uh, 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 look up what this particular master is for I apologize I'm not very familiar with all the masters uh, but I feel that this is about you bringing forward your gifts you bringing forward what you have your skills your abilities and sometimes you know we think that we have to uh, we have to study or we have to go through a certain like a college or certain books to to awaken that but sometimes it's just your gifts that kind of you know it's the energies within that need to awaken and I believe that that happens as you step into your purpose you will awaken those gifts but if you till you don't take the first steps this the gifts cannot awaken you're not giving them a chance to come forward so with this card I feel there are many gifts that you have that you can share with others that others can benefit from if you are willing to step into that teacher that leader role that you are here to play okay the second card we have is from Master Serapis Bay and it's called go now his message is go now and uh, with this message I feel that you are ready for the next step whatever your next step is whatever your next step is and if you're thinking I don't know if I'm capable of doing it I don't know if I can bring that forward a lot of leadership energy coming through with both these cards and this is like you know your next chapter begins whether it's you know with to do with the job with the relationship with the project it's like you know you are ready to step into that into the new you know the yellow energy speaks to me of the solar plexus your power center so don't allow your fears and your self doubts to hold you back but move forward with it move forward with your ideas move forward with your projects and uh, Somehow with this card, I also feel like direction. If you're unsure about your direction as to where should I go, I don't know how should I do it, 
this is like you know you take your first step and the next step is going to follow but with this card i feel that you will have to overcome your fears you will have to work through your own self-doubt your own blockages and things that are holding you back and a lot of times it's our own insecurities it's not you know it's not any other person it's not a situation it's not like you know we can think of a thousand things that can hold us back but it's it's normally our own insecurities it's our own fears of taking the next step but this card is saying you are so ready and especially with this first card guys the teacher card this is the teacher the mentor the healer that you are and that needs to come out and i feel uh, with these two cards together there's the part of you that really wants to step into this role that really wants to Get into this role but you have to overcome your own blocks i'm drawn to the chakra energy i'm drawn to the solar plexus so work through your chakras align them see them clearing especially the solar plexus you know bring your power back trust yourself to make wise decisions and then step into that role okay and the third card we have is let it go by kuan yin and i love this goddess Kuan Yin is such a gentle goddess and she's all about compassion and love and look at this beautiful lotus flower she's standing on and this is about, about you you know opening up your crown chakra and with this let it go card I feel that anything that is holding you back from stepping into all these you know the teacher the healer role let it go with compassion with compassion is what i'm getting so don't hold on like if you're holding on to past hurts past wounds negativity or any negative thinking about a situation person or anything you need to let it go but let it go with compassion have compassion for the other person you know send forgiveness send light and then step into the role that you need to step in it's almost with the, all the three cards together i feel like you are ready for the next step but you know till you don't work on yourself till you don't let certain blockages certain things which are holding you back till you don't process those things you can't really you know like freely and openly step into that role that you want for yourself so call on this goddess of compassion if you want healing for yourself healing for your heart chakra healing for and not only for yourself you can send love compassion healing for anyone you can you know set the intention and send prayer and love for everyone and guys you know like when you do that especially when you're doing any healing work and you want to heal or send healing or forgiveness to the other person when you do that it's almost like you know it releases you it also helps the other person heal and this is all about Kuan Yin is such a gentle energy she brings the energy of purity of love of compassion for yourself and for others so i hope you guys have enjoyed this reading and thank you so much for watching as always i will see you next week have a good one.